So no doubt that a lot of you have noticed by now that Review Tech USA has deleted his main YouTube channel, and quite a few people have been talking about that quite a bit recently. Some of the talking points I've seen have been things like, oh, he still has his backup channel, he'll bring his main channel back by the end of the month because YouTube gives you a month to revert your decision, and my personal favorite talking point that I saw was, by far, oh my god, World War III is gonna start over this. You know, it's it's been a fun little ride. But there was one person that I honestly thought we would never see talking about this. And no, I'm not being sarcastic. But it's a man by the name of Quantum TV. And trust me when I say that, we've met. Because this is personal for me. It's personal because, well, you know what? Let's actually go back and start at the beginning because I suck at explaining things. And for those of you who don't know who Quantum TV is, you have no idea just how much I envy you. Uh, here we go. So back in February of 2022, a little known game that none of you will have ever heard about, Elden Ring, got released to the masses. People loved it, and it eventually won a Game of the Year award for 2022. Anyways, a man named Quantum TV saw the success that Elden Ring was getting, and he decided to trash talk it, and everyone came out the woodworks to put him in check. Now, most people, after getting such a verbal bitch slap, realize that they made a bad take. They move on, they walk into the sunset, and life goes on. Usually, that's where it ends. But our buddy Quantum TV decided to fire back, which resulted in a huge drama saga, a salt war that I have long since dubbed the tickling. Quantum may have thought he was tickling us, but we instead tickled him. Or so we thought. The act man was severely wounded in the war and was visited in the hospital wing of the military base by one Fritanga plays, and apparently, he's now able to string sentences together, according to the act man. Anyways, Quantum was getting such a verbal bitch slap from the act man that Quantum finally decided to call up the act mother, and then the act man said, screw this, and tried to get out of it. The very next day, Quantum TV uploads a video where he's bragging about calling the act man's mother, and that is what led us into the tickling. Eventually, the act man got on Twitter and made very obvious jokes about doxing the people who worked at YouTube to show them how ridiculous it was that Quantum TV did it to him, and eventually, YouTube removed the act man's monetization. Quantum TV once again bragging about how he's in the right when he very clearly wasn't. Eventually, though, something odd happened that literally no one saw coming from anywhere. Quantum TV was arrested for domestic abuse. Everyone started talking about that. Then his now ex-wife divorced him, and he made videos and community posts preaching a sob story, picking at his own emotional scabs, and when he was supposed to be at court to get sentenced or whatever, the case was thrown out because his ex-wife changed her phone number, her cell phone number that is, so that she wouldn't receive death threats from Quantum or whatever. However, another guy that was big on covering Quantum TV is Review Tech USA, or was, someone who, according to Quantum TV, is a kitty diddler. That, folks, is a very serious accusation, one with life-destroying consequences at that, and you just don't throw those out all willy-nilly. Basically, to sum this all up, Elden Ring was so good, it actually ruined a man's life, and I wish, I honest to God wish, that I could say that that is a joke, but it isn't. 
It's a bona fide fact of life with loads of evidence to back it up. So go out there and look for it yourself if you don't believe me. Now, you're probably wondering at this point, why are you making this video? To you, it sounds like he's done nothing whatsoever to me, right? For the most part, you would be right, except for one little thing. I made a video showcasing Quantum TV's musical talents, talking about how he had a real talent, or, or had, or has, I should say, a real talent for music, which is something that I still stand by, even to this day, and I would have liked, even loved, to talk about his music with him, to try and get him out of this terrible mess that he started. Instead, what does he do? He does what everyone who can't handle criticism does. He goes for that last resort, that ace in the hole that so many people seem to think exists for no other reason than to use as you see fit. Especially when you're getting criticized. Now, to be fair, considering how often Quantum liked to use the copyright strike tool, I honestly should have seen it coming, but I thought for sure that YouTube would have seen that what I was doing falls squarely within the realms of fair use. But I underestimated both Quantum and YouTube stupidity. After that, I was all like, all right, Quantum, if you want an enemy, then you've got one. Because when I'm trying to help you, and instead of saying a simple, no, thank you, you come out and attack me in any way, shape, or form, then I take that as a very personal insult. To quote Yahtzee Croshaw, as the disbelieving friend said to the inventor of the feces-powered helicopter, that sh won't fly. And that brings us to this video, where Quantum TV is making a video talking about how so many people asked him to respond to Review Tech USA deleting his channel, and I call massive BS on that one. So, let's see what Quantum TV has to say in this video, and we're going to be talking about the myriad amounts of lies he tells to try and sucker people into thinking that he's a good guy, and by the way, this guy is a known narcissist. Sorry about adding that in here, but I needed to let you all know what sort of a person that we're dealing with here is all. So with a video like this, I'm not even going to dignify getting out of bed or even remotely trying for a topic like this. For my regular viewers, stay tuned for the next video. You see what I mean when I said that Quantum TV is a narcissist? He thinks that Review Tech USA is just so beneath him that he doesn't have to get out of bed and dignify standing up, as if Review Tech USA is a lesser being than him. And yet Quantum TV just can't seem to grasp the concept of why so many people dislike him. No, Quantum, if you're going to make a video, get off your lazy duff and make a proper one. Laying down in bed with that, uh, how do I say this without the possibility of getting demonetized? That blue quote unquote love light off. Get on your computer and you make a proper video. Now, to address the Review Tech USA deleting of his entire account after literally all the crap he's done to other people and whatever. The only crap that I can think of that Review Tech USA has put other people through has been with Big Cheese Gaming, for which Review Tech USA accepted $200 for a promotional deal with Big Cheese Gaming, which he failed to deliver on, but he later refunded the money and apologized for it. Something that you still have yet to do for all the BS that you've said and done, Quantum. In fact, let's go over some of the shameful crap that you've done. You told people who play Elden Ring that they're abuse victims, or sound like abuse victims anyway. You told them to... <clears throat> unsubscribe from life 
You called the act man's mother up to get him to leave you alone when you kept egging it on. You cost the act man his monetization because YouTube wouldn't do their damn job and ban you from the platform that you shouldn't be on in the first place as you're currently ban evading. You Mike tyson your ex-wife. You abuse the copyright strike system on YouTube like there's no tomorrow, which is why I have to try and pad this video out as much as possible, for which I apologize to my audience, but I don't want to get another false copyright strike on my channel. Not only did Quantum TV do all of these things, but he still hasn't apologized for a single one of them. So, folks, I want each and every single one of you to leave a comment and tell me who you think is the worst between the two. Review Tech USA for hypocrisy and whatever other crap he's put people through, apparently. Or Quantum TV, who I just gave a laundry list of crap that he's done to other people, myself included. All I could say is this. I don't really wish for anybody's downfall and if you Bullshit. All throughout the tickling, you kept talking about what a kitty diddler Review Tech USA was. You brought up crap that happened years before the tickling kicked off. So I think it's very fair to say that you did want to see his downfall. And the same goes with the Act Man and Mischief too. Now, you may not have gone that far with Mischief, but you certainly did with the Act Man and Review Tech USA, bringing up all the stuff that they did years before anyone even knew of your existence, as if that was supposed to be some sort of a gotcha moment. People change all the time, Quantum, including the Act Man and Review Tech USA, unlike you, who is apparently just the perfect specimen and can literally do no wrong, at least not in your head. I swear to God, Quantum TV and Jim Sterling are so different, yet so alike, they have a personal vendetta against two people who haven't really done anything to them, at least not in a while in Review Tech USA's case, and they act like the whole world is out to get them when it really isn't, and they both act like they're God's greatest gift to the earth, and the list just goes on. He's got something going on with him. It doesn't involve me. I am getting tagged an awful lot to respond to his debacle, but really, he still has his other channel. I imagine he would still be posting there. I, I, I can't tell you. I honestly don't really care. Question, Quantum. If you don't care, then why did you make this video? Why are you talking about Review Tech USA deleting his channel? If all these people are tagging you and telling you to respond, then why didn't you just make a community post that stated that you don't really care? Well, it's very simple. You chose to respond because you crave attention, but only when it's positive attention, folks. As such, I'm honestly expecting Quantum to attempt to strike this video with a fraudulent copyright strike. In fact, let's put it to the test and see if the guy actually takes the bait, shall we? And I think the amount of people that are trying to get a reaction out of me particularly is annoying. And this video is just to say, like, if he's got a low moment, right? Let's say he's having some sort of meltdown or emotional time in his life. Don't kick a man when he's down, man. Like, excuse me? Don't kick a man when he's down? Quantum, after what you have done to Review Tech USA and the Act Man both, you have some goal to be saying, don't kick a man when he's down. Whenever the Act Man said he was washing his hands of the whole affair with you and telling others not to talk about you or harass you, after you called his mother up that day, what did you do? You basically uploaded a video bragging about doing it, and after the act man had already waved the white flag and said he was done with you, what did you do? Basically, 
You kicked a man when he was down. You caused Review Tech USA to get a permanent community warning strike on his channel that he deleted for just talking about you, and then you made a video talking about that, and what exactly do you call that, Quantum? Because I call that kicking a man when he's down. So don't you ever come up to me talking about kicking someone when they're down. You got me? Honestly, yeah, sure, he was a dick, and he did a lot of really f***ed up shit, but honestly, forgive him anyway, because that's just what God would want you to do anyway. Nah, Quantum, you leave God out of this. Even God wouldn't want anything to do with you at this point. And as for all the f***ed up he's done, you still haven't provided examples of it. So, you all know the motto of this channel by now, right? A claim that is made without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Also, rewind two clips in this video back to learn of all the f***ed up sh that Quantum TV has said and done over just two short years, and that's just the stuff that's come to light. Oh, and Quantum is also a massive homophobe. I forgot to add that before. Like, um, who am I to judge? You know what I mean? Like, he's got his own reasons for doing shit. I don't have to agree or like how he was, but at the end of the day, I'm not rooting for the man to fail. And I think if, you know, he can recover from whatever he's going through or whatever, God bless him, man. Like, just leave the man alone. Again, I know it's one of those things people want me to freaking laugh and antagonize, but that's never been the kind of person that I am, and I don't really look for people to suffer again i don't buy it quantum go back and apologize for everything and i do literally mean everything that you said and did during the tickling and then i'll give you the benefit of the doubt until then go and tell what you just said to the act man and his mother as well as to mischief go tell it to review tech usa himself in an unmonetized environment, if you really feel that way. But provide proof of it, if you don't mind. And don't worry, because I know for a fact that he won't, especially if it isn't monetized. Also, if you'd like to know just what sort of a nut job Quantum TV really is, go through my video library and find all the videos that I made covering Quantum TV to see just what sort of a person he really is. Oh, and he called up one of his friends and docked his name, his real name, as well as his wife's real name, on his Discord server, and left a very friendly message there that has long since been deleted. I mean, like, even the people that have wronged me, I'm not, I'm not a vengeful person. I'm not like, oh, I need revenge. I, I don't care. Like, I really don't care for that kind of thing, so... You absolutely do care for revenge on people who have wronged you, Quantum. If you really didn't care for revenge, then the tickling would never have happened. You would have taken your L that day that you got, and you would have marched your hide off into the sunset. Never to be seen or heard from again, at least in regards to Elden Ring, but you just didn't know when to quit, and for whatever reason, YouTube came down on your side. I don't know how or why, but they did, and it makes me sick to my stomach that I can't put into words how disgusting I found YouTube's decision-making skills to be that day. Again, if he's got an issue or he's got a problem in his life, pray for him. Try to, I don't know, get him support. I, I don't know. People always go through different things in their lives where they need help. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a cry for help. Maybe it's whatever it is, but... Funny that you should say that, Quantum, because guess what? You haven't sought help for your NPD or Narcissistic Personality Disorder either. So... Who are you to be suggesting that so anybody else needs help or is making a cry for help or whatever? It sounds really douchey when it's coming from your mouth like that. Like, do you rewatch the videos you make 
before you post them to YouTube. Like, at all. Again, I'm not here wishing the worst on anybody, and I, I genuinely don't care. I mean, it's also one of those things, maybe he could be taking a break from YouTube as well. I mean, he's taken breaks before from what people have told me, and everybody wants to know, what's your take on it? My take is really a non-take. And that's as simple as it gets. I don't care one way or another. And hopefully that kind of finds you guys well. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I just simply don't care. You absolutely do care, Quantum. Because everything you just said throughout this video could have been summed up in a single tweet or a YouTube community post saying something along the lines of, Hey! So it's come to my attention that Review Tech USA has recently deleted his channel, and while all of you want me to react to it, I really don't care. You see how easy that is, Quantum. You could have put that in a YouTube community post, and that would have gotten the message across so much better. But instead, you show what I, at least, perceive to be some serious passive aggressiveness with this video, especially towards the start where you said you weren't getting out of bed to make the video. You have the blue quote-unquote love light on, and I'm sorry for all the people who were going to watch this video before trying to go to sleep because they are now going to have some pretty serious difficulty in doing that because of all the blue in the video. Honest to God, Quantum, you should have said that you're Quantum Smurf in this video. Seriously, watch the video back. With all that blue in the video, does he not look like a Smurf? Anyways, that's all I've got for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now, everyone.